I'm having a tough time, Moby. I'm trying out for the school play, and I'm really worried I'll mess up. When you worry, you feel upset about a problem or scared that something has happened or might happen. I'm worried about how things might go wrong. What if I forget a line? What if I forget all my lines? What if I trip and fall? You're right, Moby. I need to stop and take a breath. I know it's okay to feel worried and stressed. It happens to everyone. What can make you worry? Big changes often make people worry. When you're joining a new class or school, you might worry about making new friends. When a friend moves away, you might worry that you'll never see them again. Changes in your family or arguing with family members or friends might also make you worry. Trying something new for the first time can be a little scary, and that might make you worry. School might also make you worry, like when you're taking a test or doing a big project. Sometimes your imagination might make you worry, like when you imagine there are monsters under your bed. Everyone gets worried sometimes, and that's okay. When Tasha plays baseball and it's her turn to bat, she worries that she'll strike out. Becca sometimes worries about missing the bus in the morning. Mia worries if she can finish all her homework on time. When Grandpa can't find something, he gets worried that he lost it. Good question. What happens when you worry? Whenever I feel worried, my heart beats a little faster. I scrunch up my shoulders and my muscles get really stiff. Sometimes I breathe really fast, and other times I hold my breath a little. Good point, Moby. People are different, so they feel different things when something stresses them. You might have problems paying attention in class. Or get sad or angry really quickly. You might say things you don't mean. Or you might not feel like talking to anyone. You might have trouble sleeping when something is bothering you. It's okay to feel worried sometimes. It's part of life. What can you do when you feel worried? The first step is to stop and think about how you're feeling. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Ask yourself, how do you feel right now? I feel like I have bees buzzing around my head. My stomach feels tight. My legs feel shaky. Now find ways to calm your mind and body. Slowly counting to 10, going for a short walk, listening to music, or drawing might help. Try different things and find something that works for you. After you feel calmer, focus on your thoughts and feelings. Ask yourself, what's worrying you and why? Describe your thoughts and feelings so you can understand them better. You might want to talk to a friend or a grown-up you trust. Discussing how you feel can make you feel a lot better. Writing them down might help also. Tasha is worried that she'll strike out and let her team down. She worries that her teammates will get mad at her. After you figure out what's worrying you, ask yourself if it's something that will actually happen. 
Tasha's team always cheers each other on. Players strike out all the time, and everyone still has a lot of fun. If Tasha struck out, the team would not get mad at her. In fact, they'd probably do the opposite. Think about what's bothering you and ask yourself, would that really happen? When you feel worried, remember that you can do hard things. Think of something that you've done that you're proud of. Or a time that you helped someone else with a problem. It can give you confidence and help you feel good about yourself and the many, many awesome things you can do. You might want to write notes to yourself, too. Sometimes, worrying can be a good thing. How can feeling worried be helpful? When you feel worried, you might take action to help yourself. If you feel stressed about your homework or a school project, you might plan what to do and when to do it. If you feel worried about making new friends, you might come up with fun questions to ask someone. Becca was worried about missing the bus, so she practiced walking there. I felt worried about trying out for the play, so I spent a lot of time practicing my lines. Right, Moby. Feeling worried can get you to prepare for the future. But... I still don't feel very good. I'm worried that I'm going to mess up my lines and then I won't get to be in the play. If that happens, I know I'll be sad. You're right, Moby. Even if that happens, I'll still be okay. I'll still get to cheer on my friends. Plus, there's always next time. Worry shouldn't keep us from trying hard things. So let's keep trying. I feel a lot better, Moby. Thanks for listening. It's almost my turn. Visit online for your friends and subscribe to our website at www.tubikids.com to find more.